Hi guys, it's Renee from Rat Stash. And guess what? I got a problem. I got a big problem. You know what my problem is? Look at that. The van is empty. The van is empty. So I am going, Todd's working, and I'm gonna go out quick and source. I need to source bad. So I have two huge whatnot auctions coming up January 28th and 29th. Today is January 21st. And I went down in my inventory and I looked at the stuff that I have and I just didn't like it. I just thought, mm, I wanna go like, I wanna go out with a bang on this event. So um, I just didn't like some of the stuff. I mean, I have stuff, but I was just like not, mm, not feeling it. So I need to source. Fans empty. Uh, and I'm all by myself, so look out. I got four places to go. First place is gonna be American Family Thrift in Whitehall. And I might run into Taco Stacks. Um, I, it's Saturday morning, so I know he's there on Saturday morning, so I might run into him, so just keep watching. Maybe, um, hopefully, cross my fingers, maybe I'll run into him. No guarantee, but maybe. Second place is Restore um, Habitat for Humanity. That, I heard, had some really great stuff. So I'm going there, and then third, third, I'm going to Paul Project in Easton. And then my ultimate go-to, ultimate go-to in Easton is the Murray Mercantile. So there's four. But you know what? I might do five. Nine Lives Thrift Store. Nine Lives Thrift Store. Might do Nine Lives Thrift Store. So uh, keep watching. We're on a mission. Okay, we are at spot number one. I just checked the parking lot. His Jeep's not here. So Taco's not here. Sorry, I missed you guy. Um, but i um, ready to go in here. I see a lot of Valentine's Day stuff. So maybe I can find some really neat stuff in here today. Let's go, let's go look. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be here sourcing for whatnot antique show. But look at this big dragon. Look at this big, no, actually dinosaur. Look at this big dinosaur I got. He's huge. I can't even show him on. And guess what? $3.99. I'm grabbing him. And let me flip around. I grabbed some other stuffies. I grabbed. Look at this. Vampirina. Peter Pan. Donald Duck. And then look at this big cute buddy. Look at his little face. His little bucky teeth and face. Isn't he cute? I did only find one thing at American Family for the Whatnot Show. And this was a hidden treasure. Look at this glass. Look at this glass. There is no cracks, scratches, or etching. So I did pick up this glass. But besides that, the rest is just stuffies. But look how big he is. He fills up almost the whole crib. So I'm definitely going to pick him up. So when you're supposed to be coming here to Salvation Army American Family Store and sourcing for vintage hard goods and you end up filling your whole cart with stuffed animals, I mean, how was I supposed to pass this guy up? Look at that. Look at all of them I found. It's insane. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Trip number one down, next thrift store to go. Hopefully, next thrift store, I can find some hard goods for my whatnot. But I'm not hating what I bought today. Yay! Okay, thrift store part two. Now we're going into the Reese store, which is a Habitat for Humanity. And I find a lot of really nice hard goods in here. So we're going to stop in here and check out what we got. Keep watching. I'm not going to say I'm striking out, but not doing the greatest. But I did find some cool things. But the thing I found is right behind me. Um, why do I flip it around? It's only $100? How is that possible? Okay, look at this Chinese-Japanese bedroom set armoire. Look at this. It's $100. It's $100. Look at this. Look at the detail of it. How is this only a hundred dollars? And where can I put it? I want to buy it. But look at this. When you open it up, 
Look at these little handles. This is how you open it. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And there's a whole nother piece with it. I love that it's flush. It's flush with the wall. But look at these. Look at these cabinets. And they have drawers that come out. Look at this. Like for socks, underwear, whatever. Look at how it comes out. This is amazing. I am in love with this. It is fantastic. How is that $100? I kind of want to redo our whole bedroom now in this. Do you think Todd will notice? Okay, so um, I'm done shopping in here. I actually just met a nice couple. I, <laughs> I, I don't know if they're following me or I'm following them, but we were both at American Family and now we're both here at Restore. So we chit-chatted a little bit. Um, I did find a couple things. Not a lot, but I'm never going to say it's a bad day at a thrift store because it's never a bad day. But let me just flip it around and show you some of the cute stuff I did find. Okay, so here is my little haul right now for um, this is the resale store. Okay, so I got these are precious moments. Look at these little chimes. They are so cute. They look like little stained glass. So I did get them. There is six in this pile. This pile here is a sugar and creamer set, and it is from Knott's Berry Farm. Look at that, Knott's Berry Farm made in uh, Japan, and it's from Bueno Park, California. So I did get that. There is no chips or cracks or anything. So I do have the sugar and the creamer. I did pick those up. They were also yellow tagged. So a yellow tag is 50% off. The next thing that I got here is a signed print. It is a hummingbird and it's signed here by Richard Shorty. See that, Richard Shorty? So I don't know, but I just loved it and I love the way it is in a floating frame. And for $2, I couldn't pass that up. So I'm definitely getting that. And then the last thing I saw, and I saw this twice, I passed on it first time, but I'm going to get it. It is $6, a little bit more than I'd like to pay for it, but look at the beautiful detail of it. So it is the lily of the valley, the lily of the valley. And you know what, spring's coming and these are the flowers in my area that you'll see coming up in spring. So it is a little bit of a trinket box. Um, it is in red, I do believe it was made in occupied Japan. So it is $6 and I am picking that up. All right, so we again are gonna say successful part two of thrifting. And um, I got a text message, Todd's done with work. So I'm gonna run home, grab my honey bunny, and then we're going to Easton to do the next two, step three and four. All right, keep watching. Okay, I am at thrift store number three. No, I'm not at the State Theater in Easton. I am across the street and Liz with me, Todd. Ta-da! We are at Paul Project. <laughs> uh, so we are here to go in and check out everything they have here. They have the little kitties inside too. Look at the little, look at this one. Not so little, but look at this little chub. Look at this little chub chub. I know, right? Oh my God, he's cute or she's cute. Hanging out. All right, so let's go in and see what we can get. All right. Oh, there's us. There we go. Let's go inside and see what we can get. All right, Yay! All right, so great time in Project Hall right down here in downtown Easton across the State Theater. Music was a little loud inside there, and there was a lot of people inside. That's what we did in a nice hall here. We got a lot of plush. Glassware in here as well. So we got a couple teapots, yes. um, which I'll show you at the end. Yes. But we did get a ton of plush, yes, which was did. really nice. Um, apparently today's my plush day. It must be a good plush day. Uh, it's a plush day. So okay, now we're gonna go somewhere where I know they don't sell any plush. Yeah. Let's go to V Murray Mercantile for number four. four. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. 
Okay, stop number four. Number four. And it is at V. Murray Mercantile, and we are on Ferry Street in Easton. I know we're gonna find some stuff in here, and I know there's not gonna be any plush, because she doesn't sell plush. Yeah. So, we're gonna find stuff. We're gonna find stuff. We're gonna find stuff! Okay, so we're inside the Murray Mercantile, and we went shopping. Yes. So I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of stuff that we did get, and I'm going to introduce you again to Wendy at V. Murray Mercantile. Yeah, we've been here about 45 minutes already looking around. Yes. And we've got a lot of cool stuff. Now, so. don't forget to, I'm going to show you her scan. There's a QR scan here for her, mm -hmm. for her whatnot. She also sells on whatnot. Yes. I, I take full credit because I got her into <laughs> whatnot. She does very so, well. And she's doing very well. Very well. Maybe. We're proud of her. She's, one show she did better than me. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me flip it around. Yep. This is Wendy. Say hi. Hi. This, hi. this is Wendy from V. Murray Mercantile. And now here is her QR scan. So take your phone and scan it. There you go. Um, so you have a sale to, tonight, actually. Tonight at 4 o'clock, yep. Yeah, so we have to get out of here because you have a sale at, at 4 o'clock yeah. tonight. And she's going to shop her shelves. Isn't that great? Look at all that. She's going to go and just shop the shelves. So I uh, definitely like her on Whatnot also. Um, she's wonderful. But look at the, some of the things that we we found. So this is going to be for our sale. Look at that. The Knight's Life Insurance Company. And it has the key. The key is very important. How yeah, awesome is that? Amazing right? Card. How about this little bird on the nest? That's cool. Um, I like this. That's neat. That's very springy. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That is cute. I'm it's thinking springy. spring. I'm thinking spring. So we got Tupperware set. We got a bowl set. Look at these candlesticks. This is amazing. Look at that candlestick. I love those candlesticks. Mm -hmm. The butterfly coasters. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we did get a lot of nice, actually some nice stuff. And surprisingly, I'm here. no stuffed animals, right? No stuffed animals, no. We almost actually did buy a stuffed animal, didn't we? She got one sitting over there. She there got, is, there's a few sitting around here. There is yeah. a couple. There's, They're hidden. There's, there's a couple. There's hidden in different places. But... Yeah. We, we've been to three thrift stores, and we bought nothing but stuffed animals at all three stores. Yeah. Oh, so wow. yeah. that's not selling on whatnot. We need stuff to sell on whatnot. We do. So, <laughs> all right. Well, Wendy, go ahead. Plug your little store and channel. All right. So i um, located in downtown Easton, Pennsylvania on Ferry Street. Uh, my hours are Thursday through Sunday, 11 to 3. But if you can't catch me at the store, hop on whatnot, and we can shop the store. Yes. Which is it's a lot of fun. I actually didn't. I was very nervous my first time. She talked me it. out. Like she, she told yeah. me like you no, told me like ten times. Yeah, no, I wasn't gonna do it. But I'm so glad I did, and it's a lot of fun because people that don't live around here can shop my store. Yeah, exactly. like I'm their personal shopper. It's really fun. It is so, fun. Yeah, yeah, definitely catch me on whatnot. Uh, Four o'clock today. I'll have a show. Yeah, I'm excited. Her store. Her shop is like. Really super cute. Don't There's so much stuff. Big empty space on the oh wall yeah, where the painting sold. <laughs> so while funny story is while we were here, while we were here, um, some guy bought this big huge painting on the top. So yeah. she's on the ladder on one end, and I'm on the other end, and we got that down. But she'll don't worry, she'll refill that. Oh, I'll definitely hour. fill. Yeah, she'll refill that. Once oh, yeah. gets here, we'll fill it right up. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right. There's one other thing I want to show you here. I want you guys to comment and let me know. Do you think I should buy this or not? Hold on. Hold on. Me? Okay, people. This is what I need to know. This whole box is full of baseball cards, but they are puzzle pieces. Look at that. They're puzzle pieces. Okay, and they're numbered on the back, so then you'll know that you get a whole puzzle, right? It is called the Don Russ Puzzle. And what do you think? What Do you think I should get this? I mean, I know baseball cards are hot right now, but is this hot? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I've never seen something like this before. I never did either. You know what? That's actually something for all three of us huge time <laughs> antique dealers to say that we've never seen this before, right? Yeah. That's a weird yeah. thing, like a weird find. Like I kind of want to buy it just because of that. So this is my question. You think you would pop all these pieces out and then it makes one huge puzzle? Yes, that's what that's it does. Right? Yeah. Because but look it at their number. They're numbered. So, so all you have to do is just find the numbers and pop them and out. then and then be like, oh, okay, that's 25, 26, 27. Yeah. 
here's 50 something. I don't know. But it makes, does it make this card? I, like I that have puzzle? no idea. I'm baffled. <laughs> and not only that, but is it different cards? Because look at this one. This one is one, two, and three. I know. But does it make that card? So, I don't That's know. Very interesting. Like, this is Warren Spawn, it says. Warren Spawn. See, these are all different guys, too. Oh, there's yeah. another Warren Spawn. Yeah, here. These are two. Okay. The, yeah, they're different. And these are guys from the 50s, But then 60s, this is a 70s. different guy. Okay, so now you, See Wendy, Wendy, you time. have you have three boxes. <laughs> yeah, but Wendy, you have <laughs> you have three boxes of them. <laughs> so Lenny priced them five dollars for this box and ten for this box. And then there's another box. Yeah, and then there's another. There's box. a whole nother box. So what do you want? Twenty five dollars for all three of boxes. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Like, I hate to, like, buy only one box, and then we need the other box for the other cards, right? Right. right. Yeah. I don't, like a... I don't know. What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Mull about it. Mull? Mull it over. Yeah. Mull it over. Yeah. Let's think it through. All right. P put a comment in if you think I should buy it. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Wendy will make a deal for me. I could make a deal. Maybe. Let me know. <laughs> All right. Let, let, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, oh, that has been four thrift stores in a morning. I started at 10. It's now, what, 1.30? Yeah, it's closer Somewhere, to 3. Yeah. No, it's 2 o'clock. No, 2 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. So, I still have to run down to um, Nine Lives Thrift. Still have to run down there. And I still have to be at our store <laughs> before 5 o'clock because I just heard that I just made a big purchase, uh, made a big sale down there. So, I need, I have a hole in the wall, too. Yeah, like See, like that? Well, <laughs> I, have, I have one of those, too. So I got to go down and restock myself. So, um, all right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, but uh, definitely put in the notes. And I'll check back in at thrift store number five. Oh, my God. All right. Keep watching. You guessed it. I am on my marathon. Five thrift stores. Five. We are at Nine Lives Thrift Store, and uh, let's go in. Let's go see Dory, and let's go see the girls and see what they got. Okay, so it is now 3.30. It's 3.30. We started at 10. We did five thrift stores, and I shouldn't say it was a fail, but I was just buying things that were I was not on my agenda to buy. Yes. <laughs> So we went to Nine Lives. Nine Lives was extremely busy. Um, it's hard to video there when it's extremely busy, so we didn't video inside. Nope. I got three sets of uh, salt and pepper shakers. They were awesome. Yeah. But what else I bought here is a bunch of Bethlehem Steel items. Look at this. Look at that. Wow. Bethlehem, Bethlehem Steel? Steel. Bethlehem Steel? Yes. Now, um, I, these are all for me. These are not for sale. This yes. Is for me. And look at that. Right? Oh, awesome. Yeah, so um, I spent $27 on this, and I bought, um, this is the Bethlehem Steel. And let me show you a picture here in Bethlehem Steel. I just had my finger on it, and then let me pull it up. It's actually where my dad worked inside. Um, my dad worked for the Bethlehem Steel, so that's why I collect Bethlehem Steel stuff. Uh, but right here. Can you see this picture right here? Yes, I can. It's a nice so and clear picture. That, that is called the cooling bed. Okay. So when the steel would come out after it's forged, it comes out on those rollers mm -hmm. and then it cools. And my dad actually worked at that um, location and he was an inspector there. But isn't that kind of cool? Very cool. Yeah. So uh, this is, again, this is stuff for me. And I can do a whole nother video on this because this is just amazing stuff inside basically this wow. is the blueprint of all of the steel they made wow that's cool yeah so and i picked it up for 9.99 mm -hmm. 2.99 yep this one 6.99 okay and this one here 4.99 okay at uh nine lives thrift so i'm extremely excited for that um we're gonna eat here we're at a diner it's called the coopersburg diner we're gonna eat here and then guess what i'm off to another auction eating at the coop
eating at the coop. All right, guys, thank you very much for tagging along with me for five amazing thrift stores, and I'll check back in later. Bye. Yeah. Okay, so disclaimer, let me see if I can get myself in some, some light here. Uh, it is pitch black out because it's like almost game time. My eagles come on at 8, it's like 7.30, and yes, I started at 10 a.m. in this morning um, thrifting, and it's almost 8, and I just ended my day. Uh, life of a reseller, I guess, right? Let me flip it around. Let me just show you something. Um, so I went to an auction. I bought two leather top antique tables, side tables. And you know, I paid for them $2 a piece. Um, the van is semi full, semi full, not the haul that I really wanted uh, today, but it was fun. It was fun. I'm tired. I'm going to go get a pizza. Todd's at home watching football and I am going to go home and root on my eagles. So, all right guys, now I'm done. Good night. <laughs>